it's a lazy Sunday afternoon and it is a beautiful sunshine day after a lot of rain that hit us down here in the Western Cape and it's the perfect day to go outside take out your air gun shoot a couple of pigeons and then do a classic South African braai that's exactly what we're going to do today I've got my best friend here with me uh, Bernard and we are going to put some pigeons on the braai and I do see that there is quite a bit of activity so I don't think we're going to have a problem for today's shooting so sit back and enjoy it's going to be a lacquer one Straight down, 117 yards, and he just went down to the floor. Crash, boom, bang. Oh, just nicked it. I see a lot of feathers. Lucky, lucky pigeon. Another one down, 122 yards. I'm gonna actually see if I can shoot a couple of them quickly in, 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 in a succession. And then we're gonna go pick them up and then we'll take them, just pluck the feathers off, and then we'll start that little dry. Straight to the floor, another one down. The pigeons that we're not going to take, uh, the pigeons that we're going to shoot today and not going to eat, we're going to gather them around and there's a lot of farm workers here that's asking us for the meat. And then some days we take the pigeons and put them in a bag and we take them to the falcon uh, rehab center as well. They take the pigeons and give it to the falcons and uh, all the meat and all the pigeons we're shooting are not going to waste. We're not just shooting them for the fun or for the pest control, what we do the meat do get used. Some fresh meat. Time to uh, pluck the feathers off and get them ready for the braai. Okay, so the meat is now ready and prepped. I've got it with me here. Next thing what we're gonna do is put some nice spice on it and we're gonna start the fire. Straight down, 119 yards. Another one bites the dust. Today is the rocket stove. Makes it a lot easier and a lot faster. So yeah, it's not a big bra you have to break down afterwards. Easy peasy, make it quick and easy. And just put all of that inside there and then the cook. The type of the angle that it's got here, it actually creates like a massive draft and it sounds like a rocket and that's where it gets its name from, the rocket stove. Ooh! Solid! Straight down! Wow! I've got the breasts here quickly and what I'm going to do is I've got some salt and pepper I've got some lemon and herb spice first I'm going to just put some nice salt over it some lemon and herb spice just give it a nice little dash over here 
there we go. So the meat is now spiced. What we're going to do next is I'm going to take some onion, I'm going to chop it up a little bit, and then I'm going to get some bacon, and I'm going to wrap the bacon around the meat, because the bacon, the fattiness of the bacon, it goes inside this meat when you put it on the fire, and it doesn't make the meat so tough. So that's the idea behind the bacon. It just gives it a nice little taste and flavor as well. <laughs> it is smelling delicious, delicious. Sure. We pull those toothpicks out here. Take the knife and I'm gonna cut it. Oof, looking good. Looking good. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. What gives it a nice taste is the onion and that juiciness comes from the bacon and that little bit of lemon and herb spice it's just the perfect seasoning on top of this the kind of dish very very nice mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. that is nice we should shoot some more <laughs> definitely My word, 122 yards, dropped like a rock. Well guys, this is where I'm going to call it an end. It has been a very awesome day. I enjoyed this little episode to show you guys how we cook the pigeons that we shoot and that you guys can do see that we really do eat the pigeons when we say we eat it. Uh, I just want to say thank you for my friend coming along today on this little outing. Thanks for cooking and preparing that uh, pigeon for us so nicely. It was awesome. I'll just take another piece like that. Thank you very much. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for joining me. Remember, if you like this, hit that subscribe button. And then I'll definitely see you next time. Ciao.